Okay, hi everyone, welcome back and in this video we are going to check out ICP's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis and also indicators. Now, in the long term, I am actually bullish in ICP and here is why. I believe in this move on the downside starting from the high side about let's say $400 and ending to somewhere around the low slow around $3, we are having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure on the downside with all the sub waves. And this is, in my opinion, a very, very important sign that is most likely indicating that some sort of a bottom is going to be in. Now, is this going to be the only bullish sign? No. You see, if you want to argue, for example, we are going to have our final bottom somewhere around this region. And maybe this is going to be like a very important support area. Well, okay, off of it, you need to be able to find one, two, three, four, five wave impulsive structure on the upside. This thing right in here is a normal 5 wave. The rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave 4 and wave 2. And in any kind of impulsive structure, wave 3 right in here shouldn't be the smallest wave. And for the sub waves, let's say this one, there we go. We should find 5 up into wave 1, 3, and 5. Let's change the colors to white. There we go. This is another 5 up into wave 3 and our final 5 wave into 5. And for corrections for wave 2 and 4, we can have different scenarios. Let's say, sure, in this example, an ABC into wave 2 and, yep, a WXY structure into wave 4. And if we can find this whole structure with all the subways on it off of the lowest low in ICP spread chart, it's going to be yet another very important bullish sign that again suggests some sort of a bottom is in. And what do we have in this area? As you can see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up into wave 1. Correction for wave 2, probably an ABC structure. Another big 5 wave on the upside into wave 3. Correction for 4. This time, probably a WXY. And if you go on some lower time frames, I think you can find a double zigzag in here. And this move up right in here is our final 5 wave into this larger to give wave 5. Now, what happens after a 5 wave on the upside? If you are in a VR and you don't know the answer to that, that would be a move down, but that move needs to be in form of a correction a structure. And that's why in the previous videos, we were saying, look, after this five up, we are going to have a move down in ICP in form of a correction, which overall makes this a structure right in here, extremely, extremely bullish because you can say in an optimal six scenario, this is going to be five up into a wave one. And then we are having in here a correction for wave two, and according to this possibility, the next move is going to be a huge one on the upside into wave 3 and 4 and 5. So this is why overall I am going to be very much bullish in ICP. Now, having said that, in the short term, we may have a bit of a difference. So let's go on H4 time frame, zoom out a bit more. There we go. Okay. You see, for this correction as Russia on the downside in ICP, we said we can consider different possibilities, but a lucky scenario can be an A, B, C in form of an expanded flat, which on the downside looks like this. This is our initial move down into wave A, correction for wave B, and in this move up, we are going to take this area in here, and then another move down into our C leg, which on it, we are going to take the low of our wave A, and for the sub waves, A, B, C on the downside into wave A, correction as pressure up, maybe an A, B, C, maybe. A, W, X, Y, doesn't really matter. And then, finally, we need to have in here for our wave C, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure down. And the sub waves for this 5 wave down are actually like this. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into wave 1, 3, and 5. Let's just draw the waves. 3, 4, 5. And this is our final 5 wave into 5. And for our corrections, for wave 2 and 4, Different scenarios are possible. Let's say sure, A, W, X, Y, 4, wave 4, and an A, B, C, S structure into wave 2. Understood? Nice, because we are now going to count some sub waves and see what is going on in this area. So, let's zoom in a bit more. Okay, this is our first A, B, C down into wave A. Correction for wave B in form of an A, B, C, and from the side, we may have 5 down into 1, correction for wave 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into wave 3, correction for 4. And from the side, we said we are having a 5 wave impulsive structure down into wave 5. Now, here is a very important point. If we remember the last time that we talked about ICP, I believe 
we were somewhere around these areas and i was saying look it seems like that in here we are having a correction structure on the upside off of this low and not an impulsive movement and it means after this correction is over we are going to get another move down in icp in an attempt to take this low but if we want to remain bullish in like very very short time we just do not need to see icp getting a break of this very very important support area because at that point being bullish is actually going to be very very hard in icp again just in like very very short time overall the bullish scenario is still going to be intact but in like very short time we are going to have some serious challenges to be bullish and as you can see in here we did unfortunately get a solid move on the downside and it seems like that we are going to break this low so here is the situation if you want to say this area for example is broken you need to see a move under this region excuse me let's just say this one there we go and then pull back to the broken area and then after it, a continuation of the move down in attempt to take this low and what do we have so far this can be for all we know our initial move under the area and then this move up might be just a very simple pullback and after it, we may actually have a continuation of the move down according to this possibility which is quite a bit bearish now in terms of Elliot Swift, the news unfortunately is not good either because now I can tell you if I just delete the waves in here, there we go. You see, we may have starting from this high five down into wave one to somewhere around here or maybe here doesn't really make a difference. And then correction for wave two. And this might be one, two, three, four, five wave down into wave three and right down. We may have a move on the upside, fair enough, but according to this scenario, this move up might be just a correction into wave 4 and after it, again, we might see another move down into wave 5 and at that point, this red fire down is going to be into this larger degree wave 5 right in here and we can argue then that our correction is over and it's going to be the time to get a huge move on the upside in ICP. But for now, in like very short time, it seems like that this move up might be just a simple correction structure. Now, what is going on in terms of indicators? Let's go on weekly time frame. Zoom in a bit more in here. There we go. Okay. As you can see, in here, we are having a sell signal in MACD, which suggests that the general trend is still going to be bearish. And in stochastic RSI, what is happening? As you can see, we are actually having a confirmed buy signal, which can be a good sign that suggests in the next couple of weeks, we are going to get a move on the upside, hopefully. But it seems like that this move might be just a correction. And in daily time frame, what is happening in MACD? Let's do this. There we go. It seems like that now we are having a sell signal. However, in a stochastic RSI, we may get a buy signal soon. So if you want to be bullish in like very, very short time, number one, you need to see in terms of indicators in daily chart, a buy signal in MACD and a stock RSI at the same time. And number two, you need to consider this move up in ICP's price chart most likely as a correction structure and not an impulsive movement which suggests after it's over we are going to get another move down in our time to possibly take the lowest low in here about let's say five and a half dollars and here is another very important point usually when you go on some higher time frames maybe daily or weekly time frame and you see long shadows like this in this area we are having some gaps left behind and makes sense that after this move up we are going to get a move down in an attempt to at least at least fill these gaps right in here so for now because we got a solid break of this very very important support and right now we are hanging under it i think it is going to be a bit soon to be completely bullish in icp and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computers price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more Maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make some good money in the markets. You can become a member and ask me anything you want, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.